performance, put sound design, live performance and audience participation all at once, forming a multi-layered and live evolving soundscape. One thing that really stood out for me for this performance is how interactive it is and how every set is really different and it's so site-specific and because every performance has different audiences, each one responds to it very differently. Alongside the various exhibits at appropriate places, there will be boards where you can find QR codes and once people use their phones to scan in, then they would find themselves in a SoundCloud playlist and then they would play any track they want for however long. I was able to use some of my uh, the knowledge of synthesis that I learned uh, some of it myself. I was able to use sampling for the first time that I have not actually used in my music before. So I did everything in uh, digital synthesis uh, software and I recorded this as if it was an instrument and I organized these sounds and the samples within Logic Pro. I'm walking around and playing and I am also showing the audience what exactly I am looking at and how I am perceiving that particular picture or sound in my head and translating it into notes of the vibe. What's really meaningful about this collaboration is getting um, music students to respond to art and this is something that we hope will be a very surprising um, experience for our festival visitors.